Hello, today we're going to talk about how to use Facebook graph search to find groups where your ideal clients are hanging out, even if you're not working with other business owners. I'm Jackie Johnstone of JackieJohnstone.com and I help you figure out all that social and digital strategy stuff so that you can reach more people you can help. Today we're going to be diving into Facebook graph search and how that can help you find groups. Okay, it's a very powerful search. They recently changed the way that graph search kind of shows up um, in your Facebook. So I'm actually re-recording this video to show you what it looks like now. There are a couple of things before we dive into the actual graph search. So number one, you need to be using Facebook as your personal profile, okay, not your business page. So this little icon up at the top tells you how you're using Facebook, okay? So this tells me that I'm, when I click it and it goes to my personal profile, I'm using Facebook as my personal profile. There's another little toggle here where you can change to the other pages, but we wanna be on personal. The second thing is, as far as I know, um, this is still the case, you need to use Facebook um, as with the US English for your settings, your language settings, and your, all of your settings are um, over here on the side. So go into your settings and make sure it's set to US English because Graph Search wasn't available in some of the other languages before, including UK English. So now that we've got those two things out of the way, we can do a search. So I'm just gonna go to the home page because it kind of empties my search box. So this white bar across the top is your Facebook search and it's recently been changed, um, but we can still use it to do the same sort of graph searching. So let me show you how. So one of the first searches that I like to do is to know what groups people who like my business page are in, because obviously if someone's already liked my business page, probably they're, you know, they're interested in me, they're my ideal clients, and I wanna know where they're hanging out. So the search string is groups of people, who like, and I'm going to type the name of my business page, which just happens to be my name, and I'm going to press enter. So you're going to see the new Facebook search layout here. So by default, whatever you type into this bar, Facebook starts searching um, all the posts you have access to on Facebook for those keywords, okay? And that's not going to be helpful for us today. So um, we're not going to go into all these other tabs, but you can explore a little bit. You can see that this little thing that's been highlighted up the top here, groups joined by people who like Jackie Johnstone. This is what I want. Okay, so we're going to press see more. You can also always see groups here under the more tab. Okay, so this, will, this is going to go the same place, whether I click this or whether I click see more. Oops, so we'll just click that. And now I get a list. Um, of all of the groups that people who like my page, so you can see this here, people who like Jackie Johnstone, are members of. Now, I'm always going to see the groups that I also am a member of up top, okay? So you can see I've, I've joined all of these groups. So I need to keep on scrolling down until I see groups that I haven't joined in order to find groups where maybe my clients are that I'm not hanging out in yet. Now you need to look at the group description always. So for example, if I click now on this one, it says private in the title, so I know that this is gonna be a private group, but it will always say usually in the description. So this is for paid members of Denise Stuffield Thomas's Lucky Bitch Money Bootcamp, which I haven't paid for. So this is not a good group for me because if I request to join, they're not, they're not gonna let me in. So I need to keep I need to keep going and look for some other groups that aren't associated with um, with paid programs. So people who are reading Kate Northrup's book, Money, A Love Story, I could probably join this group if I wanted. This is another paid group. Excuse me, this is for program graduates only, you can see, so this isn't gonna be a good group for me. Um, I'm not sure what this group's about. There are definitely some people who like my page in it, so I could click on it and find it a little bit more. So that's basically how this works. So don't be afraid to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling down to find the ones that you you know, you know, haven't joined and that you don't know about, right? Um, so you gotta keep on going down. So that's one search string. You can also search, like if you don't have a business page that's um, as big, as um, you know, hundreds of people or whatever on it yet, it might not be 
as useful for you to say, you know, what groups are my people in? So you could use somebody else. So you could say group of people who like, um, say, Kendrick show. So Kendrick is a sales expert. Um, and so she serves lots of business owners. So these are people that I might, our audio clients might overlap. So let's take a look at what those groups are. And again, the ones I'm already a part of are going to be right up at the top. So I got to keep on scrolling down. There's some other groups here that I'm not a part of. Um, that could be, you know, these could be places my audio clients are hanging out. Once I click and, and read about it, this might be, some of these might be groups that I, that I should be joining. Um, you can even get more specific with uh, graph search. So we could say groups of, of women who live in Toronto and like yoga for example. So now it's going to take us back to this main um, page. Okay, so you can see I'm now seeing women, but it, it picks up on uh, um, a specific yoga page here, which might not be what I'm looking for. So you might have to play around with the wording a little bit in order to get it, um, you know, in order to get it the way that you want, I can I can definitely see it's perhaps there isn't a page just called yoga that people can like, you know, under their interests. I'm not sure. So this one might be this one might be a little bit difficult to get it to work the way that we want. So let's try something else and like um, try this before raw food. So let's see what that brings up. Great, so now people who have listed raw food um, as something that they like on their profile are showing up here. So uh, groups of women who live in Toronto and like raw food. Well, this is gold if my idle clients live in Toronto, are women and are anywhere interested in like vegetarianism or veganism or healthy eating or whatever, right? These are tons of groups that could be useful for that. You can also... Um, can also look at more demographic type stuff. So I could say groups joined by women who are over 40 and live in Toronto or any city or state or whatever. So women who are over 40 years old and live in Toronto. Again, the groups that I'm already a part of are going to show up first and then I need to scroll down to see more groups that I don't, that I'm not already a part of. Basically, the sky's the limit in terms of what you can look up here. So just type in a bunch of different stuff, take a look at the groups, browse a few of them, um, look at in the descriptions to see if it sounds like a group that your people might be in, if it's an open group that you can just request to join, and, and experiment with it. And if you have any questions, um, just come over to JackieDonstone.com and leave them in the comments.